everyone, welcome back to Maths for Kids. My name is Jocelyn. In today's video, I will be showing you how to subtract fractions with different denominators. It is the exact same as adding fractions with different denominators, but instead of adding the top two numbers, you will subtract them. Let's get started. Question number one. Here we have a question. Seven over eight minus one quarter. We need the same denominator for this question. So we're going to have to turn one quarter into something else. Well, we need the denominator into eight, so we need to find out what you can do to four to turn it into eight. You can times four by two to get eight. So you're going to have to do the same to the top. When you do one times two, you get two. So let's write down this question again. 7 over 8, take away 2 over 8. The denominator will have to stay the same. And when you take 2 away from 7, you get 5. That's our answer. Question number 2. Here we have 6 over 10 minus 1 over 5. 1 over 5 will have to be changed so that it gets a denominator of 10. If you times 5 by 2, then you get 10. So we're going to have to do the same to the top. When you times 1 by 2, you get 2. Let's write down the question again. 6 over 10 minus 2 over 10. The denominator will stay the same. And... When you take away 2 from 6, you get 4. But this can be simplified into something else. When you divide 10 by 2, you get 5. So we're going to have to do the same to the top. When you divide 4 by 2, you get 2. 2 fifths is the answer. Question number 3. Here we have 11 over 12 minus 2 over 3. 2 over 3 will have to be changed into a different fraction because it doesn't have the same denominator. Whatever you do to the bottom, you, you must do to the top. So if you, we need to know what we have to do to 3 to get to 12. If you times 3 by 4, you get 12. So we're going to have to do that to the top. When you times 2 by 4, you get 8. So let's write down this question again. 11 over 12 minus 8 over 12. The denominator will stay the same. And when you take away 8 from 11, you get 3. This can be simplified down. The denominator will be 4, because when you divide 12 by 3, you get 4. And when you divide 3 by 3, you get 1. 1 quarter is the answer. Question number 4. 15 over 16 minus 3 quarters. The denominator isn't the same, so we're going to have to change 3 quarters into something that has a denominator of 16. Well, if you times 4 by 4, then you get 16. So, if you times 3 by 4, you'll get 12. Let's write down the question again. 15 over 16 minus 12 over 16. The denominator will have to be 16. And when you take away 12 from 15, you get 3. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Carry on practicing. See you soon for my next video. Bye!